Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show with you some actual practical methodology and a Windows Privilege escalation technique that I think you will find very useful. So please enjoy the video. The whole purpose of the check checklist, obviously, is just to make sure that you're checking everything and it's super useful. Oh, yes. So I don't think any DLL hijacks is interesting. Let's go through for JROCK. So, shutdown is whatever. None of these are interesting. Let's check in the... If we find nothing interesting here, I'll definitely go check the shares and some other data as well. Until a medium plus. I don't think this leads to Prevesk, but... I'll keep it in mind. Server operators. I think this seems familiar. I think this might be Prevesk. Server operators. Maybe here. There we go. Yeah. So this this is pretty much a Prevesk then. So and again, if you're unsure about any of this, definitely just Google the permissions, right? It's only because I recognized it and it stands out to me. Like, I know they, these aren't anything interesting, but yeah. So let's just uh, try to exploit it. So if you're in this group, simply run services, okay. And then you can modify the path to its binary and create a reverse shell and okay, okay, okay. Right? That should be simple enough to do. So since we're part of this group, we can run this command right here. So yeah. These are, the priv these are the services that we can pretty much modify the binary to. So we can replace, uh, let's say, this uh, executable right there with a malicious one. And then we can start and restart the service so that it executes it under the context in which the service runs. Um, so, and this one is under the local system. So that will pretty much lead to a a privilege escalation, right? So, probably the simplest way to do this would be to uh, copy netcat, like so. And then we can, uh, let's say, I always like to go to Windows Tasks. Then we can upload Netcat.exe right here. And then let's see. So... See Windows tasks and a Netcat.exe. We want to execute simd.exe. And then let's see. We need to find out which uh, service we will go after. Let's use the light agent, for instance. So we will replace this one. Pretty much you substitute it right there. And then we will need to find our IP. Then we need a listener. So let's use, uh, we can use four for three. So let's try that, if that looks correct. Windows task, netkdxe, IP and port. So now if we rerun services, we will see that the path to the binary has modified for AWS site agent. So let us run this to stop it if it's running. And then let's start it like so. And there we go. We successfully got a shell under the context of NTO authority system. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP 
then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here, which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video. But once you've completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course, and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.